most likely from the Vessels Mine in the Kalahari Manganese Fields, Northern Cape of South Africa. Now, the interesting thing about the, the, the mines of the Northern Cape, or the, the Channing 1, 2, 3 vessels, and if they decide to open some more mines, they are all interlinked at some point. Uh, this is a solid section of gypsum. Um, often we find inclusions in this gypsum. Now, I don't see any here. So, gypsum, also known as selenite by some. A lovely see-through. I'll put my finger behind there. You can see through the whole thing. Cross-section is very typical. Okay, if you are accustomed to the selenite, I think if I play it like this, there is a bit of a light play as well on the, on the sides. I think the Chinese selenites, where the guys make little domes and have... Uh, lights underneath, but this is absolutely natural. So this hasn't been uh, polished or cut or anything. This is how it occurred in nature. A, a, whole, a whole section of uh, uh, gypsum um, selenite crystals from the Channing, I mean, from most likely from the Vessels Mine in the Northern Cape of South Africa, um, the manganese mines of the Northern Cape of South Africa. Nice, pristine, uh, pristine clean piece. Only thing is, I don't see any inclusions in here. Well, there's a little bit of uh, white milky tufts in there. Often we have ettringites and manganite, etc. included in these gypsums. In this case, we don't. Let's have a look again at the back. So it can be displayed all the way around.